Hello my friends and welcome back. Let's go and get this Black Ops mission done. We obviously we have a an attack coming soon as well. The old blimp is on its way. Kicked off a load of Mr. Pillars. There'll be uh there'll be a point where I have one at every base, and then <clears throat> when I start building up enough money to uh to start taking bases that are in mist zones. That's when you'll want to go in and uh Like this this base is probably high on my list of ones to take. It'll be uh it'll be the case that I can just dive in, put a Mr. Peller there. Really start cleaning up. All right, all items recovered mission, sweet. Okay, before we get stuck in. Uh, once again, more strength for the heavy means that when I do the jump, jump jet bash strike, I'm going to do even more damage. I'm not quite sure what the calculation is, but, uh, you know, there was a time when that bash barely did 60 damage, and now it's doing nearly 200, so, hey. And more hit points for a guy who uh, primarily soaks up damage is uh, definitely not wasted. Can I have bought anything else for him, really? I suppose at some point in the future, if I get a if I get a grenade launcher, like a good grenade launcher, I can actually uh, get boom blast. There are piles of junk that I could actually sell as well, but with so much storage, <laughs> I've, I've I've collected a horde of items here. It's kind of funny. None of which particularly useful to me. Uh, I guess at some point I'll get that, but you know, we got we got a long way to go. Okay, sniper as always. More willpower means more sustain on the old rifle. HP is good for safety. Plus, um, if I keep on expanding the strength, eventually I'll be able to give this guy different sniper rifles for different purposes, like I have done with the sniper. Still, we got those extra 50 SPs, so let's pick our poison. Let's go with the strength, why not? <clears throat> uh, the sooner I increase my strength, the sooner I can actually... Uh, get a uh, get another sniper rifle on this guy. Maybe uh, the old New Jericho piercing one. It's quite 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 useful. Is there two strength from resourceful, two speed from quarterback. These are actually all great traits. These are great traits for a future assault, to be fair. This this guy should probably convert from being a sniper to being an assault as a primary role. Because that's a great assault skill. That's a great assault skill. And that's a great assault skill. All of that is great for an assault. Okay, we'll leave it for now. Nothing really to do here for the stealthy boy. Keep on increasing his willpower. Doesn't really need hit points because 
very rarely, if ever, detected. This is a character that I would eventually like to be strong enough to carry a sniper rifle. And I have plenty of spares. For sure. Hmm. Just thinking actually. If I if I I never I never get through a full mag in uh I never get through a full mag in one go. I think you know, there is a wisdom in carrying the sniper rifle around. Especially with return fire. It just means that if someone sprays at you, you're gonna return fire with a three AP highly accurate, highly penetrating weapon. Uh, same kind of deal with this character. Less less important for this character because the trooper trait um, means that the assault rifle is actually pretty solid. To get the utility out of return fire, I mean you want to hold your rifle so that you shoot back with it. Nothing really to buy for the Berserker here. Okay, I'm not going to burn points just for the sake of burning them, because I probably have to improve my B team at some point. Let's go, kill him. Maybe Sinedrin will give me a big fat reward too. That would be nice. <clears throat> That's, uh, once I uh, once I unlock the masked manticore, it's not just about destroying the uh, the behemoth. I'll probably start selling all the junk that I have to generate the uh, the materials to pay for it. I don't know if you have to use an existing manticore to convert to it. I don't think conversion is possible for a standard manticore, or whether you just have to build them. If you just have to build them, you just have to build them. It's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Okay, there's no reinforcement zone on this map. A rare Wazag mission. What you see is what you get. By. How much HP have you got? One sixty. Uh, slightly too much. All set. Sneaky boy, sneaky boy. Ready to fight. Receive the blessings of New Jericho. <laughs> Tell you, man, my sneaky boy is the ultimate. Sniping machine. Since my snipers can typically only get two shots off, this guy gets two incredibly spicy shots off. Wow, 180!
Okay. If the sneaky boy can actually land this shot, it would be fatal. The other rifle would not be fatal. This one would be fatal. Let's see if we can get this guy to die of an extremely traumatizing leg injury. No, okay. Fine. Not the biggest deal. I'm here. I'm here. Kick it into high gear. Imagine when I get frenzy. So, this is the one sort of key ingredient that I've been missing from my team for a while. <clears throat> and I was hoping to add it when I got when I got eight dudes. Is a frenzy head priest. Which, uh... Then you just cast frenzy at the start of the turn and everyone gets a 50% speed boost. With 50% speed boost, I could literally dive on top of these guys. and delete them. All I need is a clear shot. Three. Yeah, I do. I have enough will. I have enough willpower now. For some very scary killing capability. I have enough willpower to activate all the things. I got loads of AP, like it's not a problem. I'm just It's hard to shoot like this. What's that? Yeah. Not necessarily enough stopping power here. This is where that shotgun trait upgrade would have been the difference. Not a kill, hope I don't miss. set off a will failure. Wow, look at how many dudes there are. There are dudes. What's the plan? Hmm. I'm here. Let's try and keep these APs rolling. Just a scratch. Scratch this. Uh, 
Oh, I'm glad I softened him up because that was some seriously wonky shooting there. One sixty, one sixty. All I need is a clear shot. I think that means I don't have enough to ch ching this guy's head with a sh with a rifle with a shotgun. Zooming in. Yeah. AP. All I need is a clear shot. Okay, that guy is just not possible to get. Is that door? Okay, that is a door. You can't actually go through that. I'm on the move. Target in sight. Reposition. On my way. Okay, so I got two AP still here. character does not have armor busting. Not in the traditional sense. It's got armor break, but can't use that while berserking. Crunch time. get that door open. But I don't want to use that character to do it. Been the optimal choice. Repositioning. Maybe from a slightly different position. This is not what I signed up for. Okay, <clears throat> the fear has begun. Which, I mean... It's 
that's not really surprising, is it? Let's be honest here. I too would be wondering what I had signed up for if this started happening. Let's go for that arm, shall we? Because that's going to let my berserker get in there. In theory, that should be fatal. In fact, hang on to that thought. This is brutal. Oh, uh. Once you reach this point, uh, wow, that guy actually had the f maximum of 20 willpower. Once you reach this this point in this game where you uh, have these kind of capabilities, things get very very silly. Double dash and then uh, quick shot. Going after this guy because obviously the berserker is sat next to him, so ready to fire. We can keep the pain flowing. That leg is actually perfectly positioned. Okay, this will take us up to 4 AP. These three heavies are... Uh... Oh, that one's out of willpower, so one more kill and they're done, but they surprisingly large amount of uh, of willpower I don't know how many more enemies are on the map a whole lot less than we started with let's put it that way here I'm listening Just got one AP. Oh, deal on target. I'm ready. Go after that leg. Have to focus. I think I got in some damage. Uh, ready? Really need to... Uh, it's kind of funny because we're still in loads of danger. Really need to kill or panic these heavies. Oh, 
obviously I went after this one because he was just such an easy target and this allowed me to move Going in. There. oh wow look at all these heavies wow it's like a heavy uh, congregation over here Okay, there's another one down. <laughs> Casualties! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we could have done the math on that pretty easily, actually, because it's minus two will for each kill. <clears throat> Only two more kills, and there is no human that could take it. Ready. That's a lot of heavies, though. Soften up their, uh, soften up their armor. This place stinks. Steel on rain. Might as well. It's a shot I have, so it's a shot I'll take. Four AP. Use wisely. Let me see. Oh, quite enough. Maybe with a higher pen weapon. <coughs> Ooh, he lived. You lied to me, game. You said we could all live in peace and harmony. <clears throat> 30. 25. 25. Got you good. Got you good. Okay, that's it. We've gotten enough kills that there is no human. <laughs> Even with maxed out willpower, there is no way to uh, to maintain your composure. <coughs> as, uh, as the, you know, this is everything that's wrong with this game. <laughs> this is truly everything that's wrong with this game is that you need to do this. And look at it this way. If I didn't do this on the first turn, uh, they would have just murdered me. They would have just killed me. You had six heavies here, with all with missile launchers. So if those six heavies just decided to just lob six missiles at my team, and that's just ignoring all the other enemies, the amount of damage that that potentially would do <coughs> would... Uh, would definitely end any uh, ambitions I had. You know, uh, so you have to, uh, you can't just, when you reach this point in the game, you can't just be like, okay, I'm going to set up a defensive position here and I'm just going to pick people off as they come. No. Because you got six heavies here, or more, however many it was. I mean, there was at least. There was one here, one here, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven heavies. If even a proportion of them decide to launch those uh, 70 damage splash missiles at you, you're going to lose team members, you're going to lose equipment. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go wrong for you very fast. 
That's the issue with this weapon, is the accuracy. But this one, not so hot at penning the armor. Operative on the move. I think the correct move here is to stand next to the poor guy and delete him. Shame the shotgun's not got the uh, not got the necessary amount of spice to break through. This will slam it down for sure. I am almost out of ammo for that weapon. <laughs> oh boy! <clears throat> you know what's even funnier is Berserker Sniper. Because, uh. Oh no, wait, that doesn't work, so never mind. I'm, I'm saying, like. Sorry, what's even funnier is, uh. Assault. Assault Sniper. When you start generating tons of willpower like this. Because you can obviously take free shots as well. Okay, I've only got two AP. Let me see. I've only got two AP. So there's really sort of no way to continue on the chain. <gasps> Just shoot at this guy. Oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. There's just no reason why the game should be like this. There's no tactics or strategy to it apart from a deep understanding of how you can use your other characters to enable your rapid clearance guy to just clean up the enemy like they're going out of fashion. Oh! Gotta focus. I don't even have to use that. I can pull out my handgun and execute this guy for free. <coughs> Finally, something positive, he says, because his willpower is low. The something positive is we just ran into this base and just killed everything. <laughs> Oh, there's a guy up there on the roof. There's a guy up there. Not now, please. I cannot see what he is. What are we doing? Okay. Guess I need to take a turn to recover my willpower after that. Standing by. Obviously there's a guy there. I could probably, uh, it's a technician, to probably uh, paralyze him to death. What was that? Hmm. What are we 
doing? So this character is available but has no willpower whatsoever. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the magic of the old version of uh, of Inspire is gone, where any kill resulted in one extra willpower for everybody. Sad times. Where's the... is there a ladder? No? Stairwell, maybe? How'd you get up onto that second floor? I guess you kind of... you don't from the outside? Okay, we'll just head on in next turn, but I'm just gonna use this turn to recover my own willpower. Oh, it's a sniper! That was a mistake. <laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna do that again. No. Well, if there was ever a character who didn't need any willpower, it's this one. Okay, just uh, just the technician to go. Here we go. He's obviously got no. Uh, he's obviously got no hope <laughs> in hell. <laughs> he got to deploy his turret though. That's good. Goodbye. Bam 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 bam. Oh, it's so brutal. This part of the game has not changed at all. It's all just too much. Everything is overpowered, so you need to execute on incredible on being incredibly overpowered, or the enemy will uh, execute on being incredibly overpowered. So, you know, if I'd have allowed even a fraction of those heavies to live. It would have rained missiles on my head, and uh, I would have lost people or had them crippled. You must be overpowered because they're overpowered, so you got to clean them out on turn one, otherwise they're going to clean you out on turn one. This is, you know, no nowhere else is this more true in, but in the human versus human fights in this game. Nice. They're dead. Good. I abhor violence, but there are actions that simply cannot be tolerated. And so the alliance between Sinidrian and the Phoenix Project is sealed. Not the way I had imagined it, to be honest, but I suppose it's appropriate enough for the most horrifying time in human history. Now let's work on surviving long enough to build a world without death squads. Death squads. We still hey, have a lot of work ahead of us, making the world a better place. Well, it's certainly not an easy task. Thank you for all the goodies. Okay, nothing left to do here. Do you know, it's funny, but that invasion is still going on and it's actually going quite slowly. It almost makes you wonder if you could get there. Almost. Okay, nothing really to do except... Um... I have a huge amount of tech, by the way. 445 is actually a huge amount. 
Um, I'm sure that that mission ended with my inventory of heavy weapons improving dramatically. Look at that, we found three missile launchers. Ten Iron Fury handguns. Just in case you ever wanted one. New Jericho uh, Gorse Rifle Sniper Round Sniper Rifles Flamethrower Fuel Someone had a flamethrower Someone had a flamethrower We also picked up some Deceptor MG ammo Some missiles Four spare missiles there that's nice, because those are expensive to produce. Yep, there's a whole lot of trash here. Okay, not cleaning it out yet. Uh, when it comes, when the time comes to make an aircraft, I'll clean it out. Oh, we got some purification grenades because I can reverse engineer them now. Medical nanites, healing at bases increased by fifty percent, plus twenty healing bonus in battle. Advanced paralyzing weapons, very, very cool. Multi sensor threat detection. Well, wow, all of that technology looks great. <laughs> um, and we're, we're still going to be. Uh... Venom crossbow development. Didn't we find one of those mega early on? Isn't that the, uh... Are you telling me that you hadn't even invented that yet? Oh, it's a poison crossbow. But venom is a poison, so... Well, let's not get into the semantics of venom versus poison, but... <laughs> this seems to suggest that this bow... That guy had that bow and that that bow had not actually been invented yet. So I could have theoretically reverse engineered... Well, no, you need two of them, I guess. But uh, fun funnily enough, I had the only example of that in the universe, apparently. <laughs> okay, well... That is it for now. The attack on this base is coming in 11 hours. The blimp is nearly there. There's nothing for me particularly to do. Except to maybe race for that base defense. I don't feel like I would make it on time. I don't feel like I would make it on time, but it's a potential. Okay, I have to pop through this base, so I might as well do that, stop there. There's a question mark, which means I've never been there. Who knows? If I make it, I make it, but I mean, otherwise... Um, that's it for now. Five hours, we'll have two more labs online and can carry on researching. I love how my building queue has ascended, ascended off the top of the screen. Um, and for those of you who are interested, the human population is still 74%, so... For now, all is very much well. Wow, this continent is just sinking. <laughs> if I remember correctly, this... This continent is actually devoid of havens. 
and the only havens that sometimes exist exist along this ridge which at the moment is not in the mist so they probably are all still there but I can't see them at the moment okay I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time